part two of Build with Rayleigh. We are building an Art Deco firehouse and the results are in. In the last part, we got the basic shell done and at the end of the video, I asked you three things to vote on. It was nearly unanimous that we liked the watermelon color combo of the pink and the green. We decided that the first orientation was the most popular. I will say that I liked the other one better. So this is probably the first decision that we're making together as a group that I disagree with, but I will follow through. And the third decision, and this was a close one, was how to use the lot. When I was originally going into this project, I was thinking that we could renovate it into a library, but someone commented that we should use it as a residential lot. And I proposed, what if we turned it into apartments? So we're gonna turn it into apartments. We'll decide how many apartments once we finish the shell and figure out the floor plan. But I'm thinking just in terms of like usability at three to four apartments and we can talk about whether we're gonna furnish all of them or just one or just two. That can be a discussion as well. And we'll also have to talk about which styles to do the apartments in. Do they all have the same style? Do they all look different? Do we have characters in mind? Do you make characters that I then furnish their apartment? These are all things we need to think about. Things that were done on the build. I went ahead and kept this part since you guys seem to like it already. And I went ahead and painted this part of the building pink to match. We'll add some green details on that side of the build somewhere, but I wanna line this with green plants. And so I figure we might as well just leave this all pink because the green will be a nice contrast. And then I went ahead and used the Eco Lifestyle fencing. This is fencing, which gives us the appearance of a half wall around that curved section because you can only use fences on curves. I think it looks sharp. I think it looks really nice. These half wall fence pieces or whatever are like one of my favorite things from that pack, I think. Oh, this floor plan is gonna be a challenge. Open up the space a little bit. I wanna see what the what, like room we have so far before building up the rest of it. So we've decided that it's going to be used as apartment spaces, but there are still some decisions that we can make based off of that that will determine the layout and the interior design of the space. We could either make it a player built apartment building where there's units and then you use the door locking mechanism to determine where the Sims are allowed to go. We could also make this student housing if we like. And then the third idea that I got really excited about and I'm a little bit biased for is to do some sort of communal apartment living situation. So they all have their own bedrooms, but then it's a shared dining kitchen bathroom. Similar to student housing, but with less of a focus on it being students and just sit. The reason I was thinking about that, when I think of firehouses that have been renovated, I tend to think of the Princess Diaries. The way that set was built, it felt very open and airy. They hadn't done too much to the firehouse to turn it into a home, which means that this like giant rectangle here would probably be open. Like this would not be floor space. This would just be open to the next floor. That actually limits the amount of livable space quite a bit. But if we made it like a communal living situation, we could do sort of a kitchen, dining, bathroom area in like the downstairs and then probably have like one or two bedrooms here and then the rest of the bedrooms upstairs. We can make this down here also like the living room space, hangout area. And I think that could be a really interesting concept to play with. But I do think this is a deep decent size. We could probably make this bit a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger and then I like the idea of this almost wrapping all the way around. And this could be like big patio space. We need to do something to the back of this building to make this a little bit more interesting. And then I think I'm gonna bring this in and then we can do like bump outs or something. Oh, I love that. I love how it's got like a stair step. Oh, I wanna put windows in there, I think. Oh my God. Thank God for the window update. Can you imagine how infuriating it would have been if we couldn't center these? Oh, I like that. 
I like that. We should do something on the side here, but we could even do that with like trees or something. Just something to like break up this green monotony. Okay, I like that this wraps all the way around. I think that's really fun. What if we brought these windows to the front? We can always replace those with doors once we do the like interior floor plan. How are we gonna do the roof on this side? Do we just extend that or? Oh, yikes, 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 yikes. What about a like a floor? What is this, a trim? <gasps> oh, on the bottom there? That looks sharp. Put this up here. Thank you. Get rid of the ceiling. Thank you. Get rid of this fence. Oops. No, you don't have to delete the whole floor. I just, nope, I don't want to delete the whole floor. I just, no, just let me delete the fence. Why are you like this? Oh, no. What are those? Nope. No. 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 Why? Why, though? Okay. Nobody moves. Sometimes the copy and paste tool is not our friend. Oh, we should do like a stair detail. That'll be fun. Hold on, I have a reference image that I want to reference right now. If this looks bad in post, I'll just put the photo of this photo on top of the iPad so it looks like I'm showing it to you. So I think we should do something like this. We could probably replicate it just with some pink stairs. Oh, we do have pink stairs, but they're marble. Um, EA, can I please get some pink stairs, please? Honestly, I shouldn't have to ask for basics. What about these like basic terracotta? Oh, it's blue on the side though. My instinct is to complain, but I'm willing to try. And Julia asked for blue. I know you meant light blue and not this purpley gray blue. Railings, we need railings. Oh sure, we have like five variety of pink railings, but only three, three pink stairs and no pink ladders. Look how many pink fences! Are you? Because it's a firehouse, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit industrial. We need to use these other windows at some point too. So what if we put them here? I'm not gonna put windows on this side and that might drive some of you insane. The reason I don't wanna put windows on this side, there is such thing as too many windows. However, it does make it look slightly more interesting. But that means we need to get rid of some of these windows because this is just, this is just too many windows. It's too many windows. Imagine trying to do a floor plan in this area with that many windows. But we could go down to four to a side. Oops, or we could just delete the entire bill. Part of the problem with doing this series, as excited about it as I am, is I spend like five hours building at a time and I'm trying to make these short episodes, but like still get work done. <gasps> we could do these. Let's go inside. Oh, and like we could put, if this is a communal space, put like the dining room table right here and like in this corner we'll have like a nice kitchen and then we can have like living space here okay but i hate this though i hate it wait <laughs> i think it's that wall that wall just doesn't need those windows and i don't like the three here everything is so even on this build to have three is just weird it looks like a face <laughs> i do like the door though I hate the two wides we need green on this side of the building somewhere what if we have pop out at the end. We'd have to do a three tile wide pop out on this side if we wanted to be even. And I didn't like that this was having to reach so far. So what if we just solved all of our issues? Push that there, widen this, widen this. Boom, solves all the issues. And that gives us more space too. Oh, it's good. It's right. Mm -hmm. Getting flustered. I guess that's one of the things we're gonna, I'm gonna have to let you vote on, isn't it? Is whether or not we're using this door. I want to use the door. I was initially going for the white swatch because all of our stuff is white, but I think making it black makes it look like it's been updated. It stands out a little bit. It adds some variety. Oh, wait, instead of that, should we use this one? I've never used the Moschino sliding door. Do you say Moschino or Moschino or Machino? Machino? Tell me in the comments. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. <sighs> My ego wants to use the other door, but I, do we use eco lifestyle sliding door? Do we use Moschino sliding door? Putting it into your hands. I refuse to decide because if it looks bad, I'm gonna blame it on you guys. Look, good detail. Boom, boom. Okay, I like this so far. We could put plants along this corner, which will make this door side look more interesting. I think if we do stairs, we should do them like complicated like this. And of course we have to include a ladder somewhere because we don't have fire poles. Ladder is kind of like the next best thing. This was me sliding down a pole. Let's start a landscaping so you can see what I see in my head. So I'm thinking we go gravel, um, concrete here. I like the concrete that has all the little dimples in it. Is that you? No, it's not you. Oh, I'm thinking this one. I kind of like the look of that one. 
Um, this lot is weird because it's forcing the build to be raised up slightly and I'm not gonna do anything to change that. I tried, I'm not gonna play with terrain. I think it looks more like finished if it's slightly raised up. It's not realistic for it to just like be on the ground, that'd be weird. But we also want it to be on the ground because fire trucks drive away. Zoom, what was I saying? We should put a sign there. Cool. We need some sort of fancy sign. Being like fire station. This is like a nice neighborhood. There's like fancy roller rinks and such. Ugh, do you ever just like admire your own builds? I like that. Is that the color we want? Ooh. We have to do with the one with green, obviously. It's so cute. I like it. Oh, I'm so happy. Is there a better green sign or is that the best green? I mean, we could do something like this. We make our own sign. Kind of like how like fancy this looks though. This one looks a little bit more cubic. I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but those who know, know. Oh, wait, but this literally has fire on it. I'm calming myself down. I'm over it. Let's add some plants since I said that's what we were gonna do. So we're in the desert, so we have to match the plants nearby. I cheat and I use the Sulani palm trees because there's a debug Sulani palm tree that has lights around it and it's really pretty and we're using it. We should have one of these like over here. Is this a mesquite? Mesquite tree? We're gonna have a mesquite tree in the backyard somewhere. I just don't know where yet. We could get one of those trees. Ponderosa pine tree. Oh, 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 it's too big. Too big. Calm down. I need to calm down. No, it should be, if we're gonna have this big old tree, it should be over here, shouldn't it? Yeah, that looks so much better already. Yeah, it should be on this side. The palm tree's on that side. And then we'll put the big Stulani with lights one. We'll put it there. Okay, I like using these little buddies. Don't you love how there's like shrubs in the flower category? Flowers in the shrub category. Look, this one literally says pink azalea flowers. I like using the pink azalea flowers for desert landscaping. I think they're pretty and it matches because pink and green. Okay, I think there's too much, but we can put them over here against this white. I think that looks nice. <sighs> Now I have Taylor Swift stuck in my head. Let's make a couple small ones just to make it very and cactus. Boom, boom, boom. Is this area safe for kids? No. Oh my God, my cousin's living in Southern California and my grandparents' house used to have a cactus garden along like the walkway to the front door, which is bizarre, but I don't trust desert people so my cousin once when she was really little I think she was only like five she was running along the walkway and she tripped and she fell and put her hands out first into the cactus we need rocks too I feel like people are afraid of rocks make them big make your rocks big want your big rock merge your rocks shove them together so many rocks in the desert um and then let's add some rocks I like to do combination of these three and then rocks okay so we put on the lowest setting we put on the biggest fresh and we go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we add rocks let's wrap this up okay so off camera i did most of the rest of the landscaping i like it so far let me know what you think of the landscaping i don't know i feel weird about this front area we might change and redo it i didn't do that corner yet i'll wait until we get the right palm tree i added some wall detail to the side here because it just needed something the tree helps a little bit but it needed more something and then this i was really excited about i added these details but to the railing instead of the building itself I think it just makes it look a little bit more interesting. So I liked that. Let me know what you think of that. I love it. I'm really excited. We also need to talk about ceiling tiles. So this is one option. I was also playing around with a light blue. So let me know what you think about that. The blue versus, it's like a dark periwinkle flat grape um what else did i do i added just the whatever this fencing is the like really small one to the 
ceiling here just to give it a little bit more detail. And I was looking at this side of the building and I was thinking, how do we make this more interesting? And I think it actually could be interesting to not do a wraparound porch. I really love the idea of a wraparound porch, but we have this like bump out piece. It could be interesting to bring this, whoops, I'm clicking on the wrong piece of the wall. Something like that. Um, just makes it a little bit more interesting, adds to the shape. It is gonna change this, the pacing out, the pacing. It's going to change the spacing over here, of like the windows and these uh, elements, but that's okay. We can make that work. I was thinking if we do apartments, it would be cool to have, because I was picturing four units, it'd be cool to have the doors on this side, and then, so like this entire, block would just be the apartments and then this block could be like communal space which means we probably wouldn't use this door because we would put two more of these down here but we could put we could put like a different door here like a front door type thing um so you could well obviously not that door you i think that's all i did off camera i'm really happy with it so far i really love like this view the other view needs some work i'll have a thread of polls again on twitter that you can find the link for in the description of this video or you can leave your comments down below you have three main things to vote on the roof tile color are we going baby blue are we going flat great? We also need to decide how these apartments are going to function. Is it a communal living space, maybe for students or artists, or are these individual unrelated apartments? And the last thing we need to decide is, do we have the balcony go all the way around or do we pull out the building? And something to think about is what we want the interior design to look like. Be sure to hit subscribe if you enjoyed this or if you like Eleanor. I think someone was mildly disappointed in my last video that Eleanor Roosevelt wasn't actually related to the video whatsoever and that in fact Eleanor Roosevelt is my plant, but she is my pink popcorn blueberry plant. She was a birthday gift. I kill all plants and I'm terrified she will die, so I'm very attached and overprotective of her. But I do want to mention Eleanor Roosevelt had nothing to do with Art Deco, nor Art Deco Revival, which is technically what we are building as Art Deco Revival style. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.